How you guys and girls doing today? Timson 918 here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tarkov. Is it a solo game or is it a team game? Let's do it. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. 81. Hey y'all doing like I always say, I appreciate every single one of y'all stop on my videos. Y'all just aren't subscribers if you go to our family and I appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and like. Also, make sure to check down the social media because we are Okay, okay. Okay then y'all. So I just wanted to uh to have a quick discussion with y'all. And uh, you know, just we're just gonna be talking. Like, like, you know, this is this is not like any kind of like official, you know, kind of factual thing. It's just like opinionated. You know, so I just wanted to ask y'all a couple questions. Like, first and foremost, what do you think of Tarkov? Like, do you think it is a solo game or you think it's a team game? Now I have some people who come to my stream and some people that comment on my channel that it's a team game. Other people say you can play a solo. Now, my personal opinion opinion what I feel about Tarkov is that it is a team game 110% just from this based on anything from the way that the maps look the size of the maps uh, how they're planning on eventually making the game into a big open free world and um, you know just on top of the fact that even taking on multiple scabs at once can be a huge problem now of course the game is in closed beta and way 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 um, you know away from being finished and scabs too it just any every other aspect of the game where well, I just feel like it's a team oriented game now <clears throat> now the way that I can understand when people would say that the game is a solo kind of game is there are situations when you can take down a team I mean you know you've seen people do it all the time you've seen smaller streamers bigger streamers do it and things like that but you know I'm just gonna give a couple of examples here like you know let's just say a solo a player you know is going up against or an experienced solo player rather is going up against a whole bunch of my dog is going up against a whole bunch of unexperienced players you know uh, that is one way that in easily a player can be able to take down uh, a team. Uh, another good example, let's just say that, you know, you're armored and another team isn't. Let's just say another team has basic things on like a cold pack and ballistic armor or pack or something like that. And you're rocking fort armor and things like that. Now, nine times out of ten, based on, like I said, the experience, if they're inexperienced and they don't know how to play versus, you know, a player, you'll be able to take them down. But let's talk about certain situations and instances. And also at the end of this video, I will have a discord i have it come up right now then i'll have it come up at the very end of the video um the discord icon it'll be down at the very bottom it'll be in the description for anyone to join because we know the struggles of tarkov and i want all of us to build a great community together and be able to play with people when you want to uh now let's take examples from the team perspective so let's just say that you know you want to play this game uh, as a solo player and uh, you know we've all been there uh, what do you do when you are running and you're you know you're running on customs or factory we you know whatever your map you're playing you come around the corner and you see three people with ops core fort armor and m4s and you're by yourself and i'm not talking about you simply come around a corner and you're able to like reposition yourself i'm talking about you just come around a corner and they're just looking at you right there or they were waiting for you like what do you do in a situation like that now of course now i understand that this is a game and in games things happen that are unpreventable things are going to happen you know that are just wrong anyway in any game no matter what but you know i feel like the i feel like the incentive to play solo is like null compared to the incentive to play with a teammate because not only is a teammate able to save your ass from making mistakes or if you die able to kill the other person give you more chances of getting your stuff back it's just more firepower in general i mean on, like like i said tarkov being a really unforgiving game going and playing solo and i commend those who play solo and you know i appreciate those who you know uh try to make play the game solo it's like you only have one chance you know, it's not like you have like a revive option. It's not like Call of Duty when you just spawn back in. You know, this is this is hardcore. You know, you die, you lose everything. Um, I also like in another good example. Let's just say, you know, you managed to kill two players. No, we've, we've all ran into this. All Tarkov players ran into this, y'all. You know, you kill like, mm, let's just say, like I said, two or three of them. 
you wait for like a good five, six minutes and you are finally about to run up to someone's body and collect their stuff. And then all of a sudden, two more people just start laying bullets into you. You don't even know where they are. They're like in hidden spots on the map or maybe on a roof. You just don't even know where they were. Then you just lost everything. I just feel like, you know, I'm not saying that playing this game solo is bad. I just feel like there's a lot of different uh, things that you run into. Uh, there's like a lot of different scenarios. And I feel like the scenarios definitely 110% benefit those who play with a team uh versus those who play solo and like i said like i said earlier in the video you know with the whole entire concept of this game being a free roam game and once they unlock all the maps i personally there's no way like there's no way i could sit here and accept the fact that they expect or you know they expect you to play solo all the time with a large map like that. I mean, customs by itself. I mean, playing custom solo. Like, I mean, and, and if y'all watched my previous video, The Lone Wolf, you know, playing customs, y'all, that map, you know, it's it's not like the biggest map, of course, but that map is huge. And to be playing that solo, there's just so many spots you can get attacked from. So many different angles, so many different directions. And like I said, you know, you go into an apartment complex or you go into like the woods or something, you are going to be shot from different angles. It's like, holy hell. It's like, you know what do you do it's just you know like i said y'all but let me know in the comments below y'all this i just wanted to make this video for y'all and i wanted to ask y'all you know like i said once again and at the very bottom i'll have you know in the description the discord but you know if you do play solo uh let me know why you play solo and uh, let me know what are the good parts about playing solo i've i could think to be honest with you like i said you know there's no other feeling like it in terms of feelings like when i compare the two playing with a team versus playing with solo like if you, like that experience like that heart racing experience there is nothing like it because you know you're all by yourself your own mistakes will get you killed your own good your own you know positive moves and actions will get you loot another good thing about I me mean, i'm not so sure if y'all have this within y'all team or anything like that but another good thing is of course sharing the loot i mean you know in a team you might have people say i put the most bullets into them and things like that so y'all just let me know in general uh what you think y'all and for those who play solo tell me why for those who play um by you know with teams let me know why i'll catch y'all in the next video Tim i want eight out yeah mcginny chain rest in peace to my superior hermes link a feed a village in liberia tmz taking pictures causing my hysteria